Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for US market indices. I'll cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide targets and invalidation levels for the presented accounts. Let's get going. Starting from the S&P 500 again, um, we have had this overall wave count where we had a W, X and looking for wave Y. Um, there's a possibility that wave Y has already completed, but the wave Y is kind of small compared to wave X or W here. So it could be that we are still in the first leg here. But we'll look into that as the development of this new wave structure comes to be. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this current structure here. Uh, since the last coverage of S&P 500, we've had this small bounce downwards here. We were expecting a bit lower numbers here and now we tagged this 38.2 retracement, which was expected again for the wave 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and again, the 38.2 is what we are looking for here for the wave 4. We have a possible completion now here for the wave 4, and uh, let's take a look at the possible pivots here. And let's start with this one. We come to right around the one to one extension if you have it here. Let's make sure that it is actually possible to use this pivot or we could even use this pivot here. Yeah, if we use this pivot, we could have uh, W, X, but then again, we would be looking for three way structure here. If we are using this and say that we have some kind of zigzag here, then we can use um, something like no, there we go, W, X and Y, and um, this should be mm, micro. And this would complete this structure here, and this would be pretty much into one-to-one -one extension and com coming to the 38.2 plus the previous fourth area. So there's significant amount of um, confluence around this area that we are done. So I would be saying that this definitely was another place or area that you could be trading from. Now, from there on, we've had this one move up, one move down. Uh, we could be still in wave two, but this structure here looks kinda, kinda strong. So we could be looking at this as some kind of three-way structure completed down here, and we had a one, two already created. And now we would be looking to create the rest of the structure for the wave five. That's pretty much everything on this count. The other one is even more bullish. Instead of uh, ending something here, we have just an A, B, C. But again, this is overall the same structure. Uh, whether we are ending something here or here, um, it's just up to you how you want to count this. We could be having some kind of a one, two, one, two, one, two stack here. Um, and this would be way more bullish structure overall. I don't like this as much, but again, there's the possibility. Check out Nasdaq as well. Mm. Not this one, probably local. Yeah, there we go. Uh, again, something could have completed here or here. If we are uh, completed something here, we could have this as an A, B, C. Or if we complete something down here, um, then we have, again, start of something with five waves. I can count this as one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five into third. This is the highest RSI, so we have a possible um, third here. Now, again, the third, or top of the third, let's go to 15 minutes, is right here. We do have a higher high, which we would create a divergence for the price, creating this most likely a third of at least this move here, uh, then some small divergence for the fifth. Um, this low here, or this high, sorry, um, would also create a divergence between this at least on the 15 minutes. So that works out pretty well. Checking out the way four targets, we are just to be slight, slightly ahead, um, a bit more bullish, I guess I could say, than S&P 500. We did not get to the 38.2 here, 
on Nasdaq. Um, we did not get to the area of last or previous wave four either. So we would have to get another leg down for the 0.5 area, basically if we want to get here. Um, to me, this looks like first leg, second, and that could be definitely the third. So I, I would think that that is complete. Let's check a look, take a look at these extensions that we have here. Almost the one-to-one uh, -one extension. Not quite though. So around uh, 85, 85.4 extension of the first leg. So that works out pretty well as well. Um, let's check out if this is actually an ABC or is this a WXY as well. It qualifies as a uh, ABC so we can have it like this and that would um, again work very well with this current structure as we have really impulsive looking structure here. I see this, or I can see this as a zigzag pattern as well, um, as we don't really have a clear one two here, at least on five, 15 minutes here. So we could have A, B, C coming down here for the fourth and have this as an W, X, Y. But it doesn't really matter. I think we are done with the wave four here, and now we would be looking higher prices. Again, really impulsive structure here, and now some kind of structure that is playing out not really sure that it's not really mm, not really clear in oh, clear structure here yet what this might be higher RSI on, on this one than this low or oh, this high we have a bearish divergence here then so we could be looking for some kind of dump here That's pretty much everything on Nasdaq. Let's check out the Dow Jones. Most likely pretty similar structures here. Um, this however has come down really deep. I wonder if I have this wrong here. Mm. We still, this, yeah, <laughs> there was this issue on Dow Jones that we had this super weird weeks and I had so many one twos stacked here that um, yeah, still the third is highest on RSI here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sticking with this count. Third here, fourth. Well, fourth can't be here. I don't think. I would have to say fourth here. And this should be some kind of an extended one. It found support around that area again. It's a bit different looking than Nasdaq and and uh, SPY for sure. But and we did get below the 0.5 retracement, which is definitely not typical. Let's measure this thing here. Um, yeah, one to one extension right onto dot. So it definitely looks like a three way move here. Uh, could even be a zigzag if you want to label it as such. This could be some kind of leading diagonal. Really, really uh, impulsive C structure here for the wave four. But pretty similar overall um, that we have had on the other indices. Let's take a look at the Russell 2000 if there's anything different here. So, again, possible one, two, or A, B and then 3 or C coming up. Uh, yeah, this this was a bit weird looking as well. We had possible 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the third. And again, we are getting really deep retracements here. Hmm. This definitely looks like ABC-ish. Um, or a zigzag, I mean. There's no invalidations of anything. So, but again, it's really deep. Mm, this one two here does look does not really look like uh, too much alteration. This is so big of a correction. It takes a lot longer 
I wonder if it is actually paired with this one instead, just by the looks of it, right? Um, I would have to recount or possible, possibly take a new approach to this. Um, I just see this as one too though. Can we finish it here? If we want to have a three here, are we going to get a five? We don't have at least on 15 minutes, we don't have a divergence here. Unless we have, can say it's, it's this one. Yeah, it is, definitely this is not the easiest one. I think uh, Spy is the one, one to play right now. And possibly Nasdaq as well. Um, Russell is not that clear to me. So I, I won't be playing this, I don't think, at all. Um, I'll see if I can find some other structures here that is going to be possible and update that on the next video. But for now, I think this is still the primary on Russell where I have three, four, and then we continue upwards. Um, we'll see about that. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share on all the US market indices. And uh, if you would like me to update a certain other asset or account, let me know as well in the comments below. Link to my Discord server also in the description if you want to join. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.